Welcome everyone. This is card level 100. In this presentation, I will be taking us through the right way to arrange a structural drawing. And then we will also look at how to import the structural drawing of the last lesson that we did from Prota Structure to AutoCAD. And then we will look at how to arrange it and also we look at how we can't print it to pdf so this is what we are going to be covering in this presentation you have to stay tuned stay connected make sure you like the presentation and as well subscribe let us get started so at first this is the complete drawings of the last presentations let me bring up that uh, last presentation so that you see it in the proto structure All right so this is the presentation i'm talking about so we are able to complete the modeling loading analysis and design of this uh school buildings in the last presentations and in this one we will look at how to generate the drawing but as first i want to show us how to arrange a structural drawing a structural complete presentation drawing okay for construction work so let us get back there all right so you have to start from the general note okay so this is the general note all right that has to contain the reinforced concrete uh, specifications in terms of the you know concrete strength the grades and the you know bands uh, uh specifications in terms of like over here you can see reinforcement notations okay the meaning of all of this okay because most of the things you have in the note here are found in your structural drawings just like this so after this page after this page you will have um you will have uh, foundations okay this is a foundation layout followed by the um the footings details and then columns then you have the first floor beams okay so the first floor uh columns and beams general arrangement just like this and then followed by the beams details just like this now you will notice that there is a continuations uh line here okay it's because uh, the beams uh the continuous beams are too lengthy so i have to shorten it because you can see from here how lengthy this is so if you have it lengthy like that it is not going to be visible in the you know paper space and then your drawing cannot be read so you have to make sure you shorten it just like this and place a continuations uh line right there okay so and this is the whole of the beams for the first floor okay after that you will now have the reinforced concrete slab which i will be actually explaining how to detail this successfully in this presentations okay so after the reinforced concrete slab here you will now have the roof beams okay so if maybe you have a kind of a three story or four story buildings so this is how you should arrange your structural drawings so after the whole game the staircase normally come last okay staircase normally come last all right so we will be also looking at how we can actually print this drawing so i have a drawing template sheet here we we'll take it to the back uh, to the back sheet right there to see how we can effectively print this but before then let us uh, look at how we can you know bring in the drawings to proto details from the proto structures and then to autocad successfully so quickly we will look at that and the right way to do that successfully so here is the design we did okay in the previous lesson so what i said is you should uh, optimize the reinforce uh the reinforcement uh, in this uh, reinforced concrete member successfully by carrying out some necessary uh, interactive designs on the columns as well as the beams which i've explained that in the last lesson so now to take this to proto detail is you come to the drawing and report type and click on this proto detail so once you click on the proto detail it is going to launch and then once it is being launched okay so let me just uh, select that all right so it is going to take us to proto detail so 
so this is put that detail all right so at this point you will have to choose which way you want to actually generate the drawings so we use auto generate details so you click right there and then in the dialog draw details dialog click on the draw options so once it takes you to the draw environment you can just have to zoom i like to bring the ucs to its positions and place the drawing there and give the program some seconds to generate the drawings i want to show you something here so just uh be observable you will see what i will do now so now the drawing generation is completed so these are the drawings that uh, the program has actually generated and then details drawings of the beams as well as the columns successfully just like this okay so if you notice this consists of the uh the first uh floor right the first floor and the roof beam so everything is being combined there so the way i normally do it is what i want to show you is you just come to the story beams elevations drawings expand that and then you can see uh the first floor i see the second floor and then as well as the roof beam okay so this is being separated here i guess so if you come close closely come closer to the drawings and then you can be able to identify that uh, this one is the first floor okay and then this other one is the uh, second floor and this is the roof beam okay but uh, you can still also create them from here by clicking on it right click and then you can click on draw beams elevations one by one but use this option the first one you click on that first uh, options why are you still creating this is because you want to totally separate the first floor from the second floor and as well from the roof beam so you click on the draw options right there and then you come over here and click so once you clicked this is going to actually draw the beams of the uh story one which is the first floor successfully only that beam will be drawn so let's wait for it to complete successfully all right so you can see all of this has been drawn for the first floor successfully and even with the barbend schedule from here okay so at this point now we are, are now to take this to autocad so if you want to draw other ones you can as well use that same process okay so that same process actually explain the, uh, the second options of uh, producing drawings okay so you come to where you have exports to the uh wg slash dsf right click click on the export right there in drawing one so you can choose autocad versions depending on any one that you have okay i may choose two 2007 I click on the export so this is going to export the all of this uh, drawing to a folder okay it's going to export the all of this drawing a folder and then you have to now copy it you have to now copy it from that folder to uh, open it in autocad which we will have to see it right away so here is autocad and there is are the old uh, structural detail drawings okay in autocad okay so once you have it in autocad now you have to now take it to another autocad customize uh, page which is this IC protect engineering template so if you use this template this template will actually helps you to be able to you know carry out your you know addictions effectively and at ease because if you check on this template there are other various uh, work complete work done which you can reference to be able to complete your drawings so over here you can see a drawings for pile yeah okay you can see pile drawings here yeah, and how it's, it is being presented and then you come over here this is for reef slab okay you come over here this is for raft uh on beam foundations okay a complete drawing of it right there okay so uh, other drawings that you can make use of and also you can have a general construction note over here right so now once you are now there what you just need to do is to copy all of this drawing to this template so you have to get all of the drawing copied but before then i want to show you what the template can do to these drawings have it see the drawing the way it is just like this you can see how it is once you get to this template you see what will happen to it so i want to be using uh one of these beams to actually demonstrate that so we can copy the all of that later so i like these beams so this one just like this right click and then come to copy right there okay so after which we see closely look at the way it is okay so i will come to this template now 
then I'll zoom closely, right click, and then I will click on the paste to paste this drawing. Zoom closely to the drawings. So now that's see the changes in this drawing. Once you click, now you see the changes in it. You see the text height and the font. Everything has been edited successfully. You can see. So, but if you come over here, look at the way it is there. All right. So you can actually see the difference between this and this right now. Okay. Even the rebars there yeah, has been actually uh, edited. You can see the rebars is different between it and the one here. Okay, so that is what this template will actually help you because this is a customized template for civil engineering drawings successfully, so basically drawing from most of these softwares. Okay, so now we want to actually copy all of this to that template. Okay, so we get all of that highlighted just like this. Right click. And then in the drop down menu, go to clipboard and click on copy. So come to the template. Let's just wait for it to copy. So you come to the template, and at this time, you just have to right click and paste it here. Right, so once the drawing is being pasted here yeah, successfully, your editing starts. Okay, so you can choose to start your editing from the foundations. Okay, you can choose to start your editing from the foundations. After the foundations, you now look at the reinforced concrete slabs. Okay, so after the reinforced concrete slabs, you can now look at your beams editing. Okay, and for the you know, uh, part footing size, you don't even need to bother yourself on it. We have already detailed and uh, edited uh, part footings over here. So you can choose any one of the size ramps here. You can just pick it from here. Okay, that is another thing the template will actually help you on. So you just pick it from there. You change the rebar diameters. Okay, and then you fix it in instead of you now you know struggling editing it again. All right. So after which, for the reinforced concrete slab uh, details. All right. I want to be going back to these provisions where we have the. Full details of that job okay so that i can explain that successfully all right because once you are done with the project complete template you have to copy the file and then create another window okay i want to show you how to do that for this i want to create this in another window i'll highlight only this okay and i'll type w on the keyboard enter and then once i enter and come up here with this i can navigate to where i want to i want to save this drawings okay and then save it separately all right so that is how I save this one that you see here. Okay, so after I must have done with it using the project complete template, I brought it here. So now I want to publish it. But if I publish it, I want to be explaining about the slab detailing right there. Okay, so for the slab detailing, if you check very well the way the slab is being detailed, it's just like this. So once you are detailing a slab, detailing a slab, you have to consider some things and some factors and some rules and regulations in detailing a slab okay so this slab is being detailed panel by panel actually but in some cases you can detail your slabs in in in, in, in multiple panels okay because the total length of a reinforcement in the market is 12 uh, meters so if a panel if, if a panel is not up to 12 meters I, I believe you can add another panel to it and detail it all together right just like this one yeah let's say this panel yeah okay so the length of the panel is uh you check the length of the panels is very very important you have to check that so this is 7.5 uh, okay 2.5 7.525 so you first have your first reinforcement okay which is the first bottom reinforcement all right and then you have your second bottom reinforcement so since this slab is continuing in the you know right hand side you have to give a lap length okay this lap length is normally 600 but uh, for the sake of uh of for the circumstances you can make it uh one meters all right so you have a lap length to receive the next reinforcement just like you are seeing to receive this one you have this lap length to receive this one this one also have a lap length here of 600 so 600 plus 600 you have a lap length of 1.2 together so that the uniformity can be made in the detailing successfully 
So after which for you to now get a top bar. So if you check very well over here, you see a top bar here. Yeah? Okay. Top bar takes thirty percent into the uh, slab panel. Okay. It's like from here to this point, thirty percent from this point to this other point, thirty percent. Okay. But the way I designed and uh, detail this is because this panel is very small. So I have to just detail it all together, just the way you see. So it is thirty percent. Let's for instance, you click here and then you pick this point to this point. Then you have this, you take the length of this from here to this point, it's going to be 30% of this, okay? 30% of this uh, length, which is 7,525 millimeters, all right? So the same thing is applicable to all the panels for you to be able to create your, you know, top bar successfully, okay? Coming to the beams right there, the beams have to be just edited just the way you are seeing, okay? Which I've explained earlier, and after which you arrange it just this way so for the printing aspect of it you can't use you can print it right here okay in the model space you can also print it in the you know back sheet which is the paper space all right using this windows but if you use this windows it simply means you are going to create multiple windows like if you want to replicate this back sheet now you can right click right there and then you click on the copy or move or copy okay so i want to copy this particular layout to the next provisions okay so i will click on create a copy create a copy then click on the okay options so it has create another copy and then this one now change to two all right so if you can see you cannot navigate between the two this one and this one so so you are going to be creating a series of a uh, back sheet okay to the total number of uh these uh uh drawings okay so now the drawings are arranged like you can see this is going to be page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pages. So like why you are going to create a back sheet 19. This is just two we created. We create 19 of that. So that is another way of uh, you know uh creating or uh way of uh, arranging your sheet okay for printing. But if you wouldn't really want to do like that, uh you can also copy this uh you can also copy this uh this title block right click and then come to copy right there after you get that copy open one of the back sheet right there now you have to paste it right here control v to post that so you paste it just like this so you having this like this has have served as your you know uh, uh paper space one okay so you can also copy that then uh you, you do copy i just want to use it to demonstrate that paper space two paper space three paper space 4, paper space 5, actually over there we have up to 19, so bear in mind we are going to up this up to 19, so you don't need to now be creating multiple back sheets here, or paper space, now you have like this, being copied just like this, and then you can have up to 19, so how about putting the drawing inside of this, so what you just need to do, you zoom it closely, and then you do uh, MV, MV simply means model view, model view, okay, MV view, okay, model view, click right there so you pick the you know a uh, point on the title block and then you put pick the diagonal and opposite side of that point just like this to create a a sheet like this. so once this is created you can see that you are drawing the model space is now enable inside of this uh, title block so since this is enable and this is the first uh, sheet of the paper you just have to double click inside of this and then zoom closely to the first uh to the first uh items there which is the note then how do you now print it so that it fits in the papers okay so you just have to uh you know type z on the keyboard and then you enter and then after which you will just have to you know key in zero right there zero simply means object object okay the z simply means zoom zero means object that is zoom object okay so you now key on the enter key on the keyboard they do an alight of this so once all of the objects you want to bring out okay or you want to zoom in is uh, actually alighted hit on the enter on the keyboard so you can see it is now fitting so now that it is fitting do not screw the wheel of the mouse just move your hand outside there and then double click outside so once you double click outside we are out of the model space so you have these drawings being placed like this so with this cannot come to this title block provisions over here and then carry out your addictive yeah what are numbering you want to do you number it and everything so after which you come over to the next page 
to the next page now we are to paint the foundation uh, foundation uh, layout all right so you do the same thing uh by key in mv on the keyboard and enter and then pick this point come over here and pick another point here to have the whole of the drawing double click inside to enable the model view then go straight away to the foundations just like this or if this is showing if this one is showing why you want to place this you can actually highlight all of this right here so you are now working in the model space through the paper space okay that's what we are doing so move this up so that it will not be off the view while you are trying to view only this foundation footings you use the same method on the keyboard enter select object O, and then highlight all of the objects you want to zoom and then hit on the enter to bring it forward click outside just like this to make sure it is fitting just like this so the same thing you are going to do for other drawings until you get to the total number of 90 pages so this is your sheet all right so at this point you want to print it okay so what you are going to do is you just do your normal control p or you can now come to the far menu right there so in this far menu you come to um you come to plot okay or print on that print you go to plot right there so in this provisions you click on the continue to plot a single page maybe with time i'll show us how to plot bash where by you can plot all of this at once okay that will be in the next video so at this point you have to choose choose your you know printers right there but we'll be printing it to nitro pdf creator okay so we have to choose that then the paper size is a3 all right then we are going to be considering uh window plotting okay so we select that window plotting and then up over here we will have uh, this uh plot star if you use none you are going to plot with color if you use monochrome you are going to plot it black and white all right you can use quality draft okay so it can be plotted very fast and then over here you have a plot options if you need a stamp on this drawings or you have any transparency you can also key in uh, activate it so that it will actually show on the drawing but there is no transparent object on the drawings okay so you leave that place drawings orientations you are to use a landscaping okay so over here you have a scale here okay so we use a cost of scale okay to do this okay so you just have to click on the uh window right there so you pick this edge and this other edge just like this after we click on the preview so in the preview you have your drawing printed out just like this you can see so this is how you're going to look you just have to right click and click on plot so it will now take you to where you want to actually save the drawing so you navigate to any folder your desktop and then give the drawing a name and then save it there or create a folder by quickly click on the new right here to have a folder here you give it a name and then after we double click and then you have to be printing this all of this drawing inside this folder now so you click on the save options so you see the drawing being published in pdf just the way it is processing so after the publish is done it's going to come up just the way you are seeing and then you will have to see your drawing in pdf just like this okay so how that's how you can be able to plot all of the drawing on the sheet okay so after we want to take it to printer you can just click on the printer here all right so once you click there you select your printer from there on this provisions if your printer appears here you select it right there and then print your drawings out successfully so this is how you can actually arrange and then be able to edit and print your drawing successfully just like this okay but with the help of this template it will ease your you know your working experience it will ease it okay so you will not find it difficult to edit your drawing so if you need this template you can't just get it it's not expensive very cheap just to help us be able to do our drawings at ease so you can get it uh through the link in the description of this video okay so until we come up with another interesting uh, presentations stay tuned stay connected don't forget to like and subscribe for more advanced lessons of this sky thank you for staying through these presentations bye for now